Hey guys, so uh, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for an isolated barrel roll, which looks something like this. Um, basically, I will teach you uh, the basics on how to do that and then go over different variations on that and what else you can do with those um, skills that you just learned. So uh, let's get started. Um, Basically the idea for this is that just like a regular isolation, the hoop's staying in one place, but then your body's going to move around it. So start with the hoop in front of you, and your hands can be on the inside like that, or just grabbing it, you know, whatever's comfortable, and as you get more used to this, you can do all kinds of pretty things with your hands to make it look even more. Uh, graceful or whatever you want. So just want to get comfortable with using two hands like this and to do the turn you want to keep the hoop touching the bottom of your belly or the back or the lower part of your back. So as long as it's always touching um, you're not gonna have to worry about the hoop moving up and down or whatever. Um, it's just going to stay in the same place. A lot of the times people, when they're doing these, end up, you know, way back here and all bending and hurting their backs and whatever. And I had a friend who um, threw out her back over the summer, so you really want to be careful. You don't have to bend back a lot. You can um, once you get more comfortable, but you want to make sure that you're engaging your abdominal muscles so that you don't really throw out your back or um, hurt yourself in any way. But um, really, if you're not going too crazy with it, you don't even have to bend back hardly at all. So um, let's start here. You want to turn the hoop as much as you can, and then you're going to see that once you get to a point, you can't go anymore. So I have my hands on the inside, and I'm going to keep the hoop touching the lower back. I'm turning my arms. I'm going to go this way, and then I'm going to turn back around like this. So you see the hoop stays, the bottom of the hoop will stay and touch all the way around. You don't have to keep it out from your body to like get the effect. So just like that. And um, obviously when you're going slow like that, it's easy to keep it, but when you're going a little faster, it has a tendency to move around. So as long as you keep in mind that it's touching your that it's touching your lower back or whatever, or staying in that same place, you'll get the hang of it. So that's how you start. And then as you get more comfortable and you're kind of going like this or whatever, you generally kind of have an idea of where the hoop is going to stay. So you don't. Um, it's just kind of like a muscle memory thing, so you're going to know pretty much like if I want to move back, like how far I need to move back to do it. Um, you can also start it behind you. You go like this, you start the front. Um, you know, those are two different ways. The other thing that I'm not sure what the title of this trick is, but it's very similar to this. It's the one where you go like this. Essentially, it's the same thing, except um, the hoop's moving around your body and it's not uh, isolated, so. Um, so you have your hands on the inside, and you're going to go up once you get to this point where you can't really go anymore. You turn the hoop so it's behind you, and then you keep going. And that looks really nice when you kind of can get into the flow of it. When I'm doing that, sometimes I won't even have it touch my body. It's just kind of out floating around, and that will kind of go into this. So you can also, just from there, go into a barrel roll. It's a really nice combo that looks really pretty because it's framing your body really nice. Um, I guess so that would be with two hands. Your other option is to do it with one hand. And I know I do this all the time when I'm just doing an isolation or something. I'll just send myself around. So 
that does take a lot more arm weight. Uh, like with most of, the, most of these isolation things that I'm like showing you, it's much better to have a lighter, smaller hoop. Um, and it's no different for uh, this trick either. So, because it's going to take a lot more arm muscle to get this hoop to go around um, if you have a lot heavier hoop. This is a 30 inch like um, PSI tubing. So, anyway. Um, so, you can kind of start this any way you want, like backwards isolation or front here, like whatever. But it's the same basic principle. You just take your hand away. Oh, I did that wrong, sorry. Um, so start down here, and you're just isolating. When your hand gets above your head, you're just going to come down like this. So your body is going to have to naturally turn as you're keeping the tube isolated since it's behind you. So, go down. Once you get to the other side, turn up and keep going. And that, again, is staying along the same place on your back, your stomach or side or whatever. And then as you get more comfortable, you can move out. There is your isolated barrel and all its different variations.